is up guys, your boy Sekai here, back with another video, and today, we are going to be reacting to best anime where the MC is overpowered but hides it. Let's get it, baby. Hey, yo, my man punching a girl like that? Jesus! If you were the most overpowered being on the entire planet, what would you do? Would you relish in that power, making the world recognize you for the masterpiece that you are? Or would you prefer to live a regular life as an ordinary Joe, letting your powers out only when the situation calls for it? Whichever camp that hey, you that's my boy Mob! Down, down in the comment section below. Well, the title's already spoiled <laughs> yeah. for this one, isn't it? Got a high school? We're taking a look at what I think are the top shows that deal with the latter. Flex also okay, my boy appeal. Psyche K. I absolutely love seeing someone like Arnos demolish some poor slob. But I find a tiny yes, little in the secret OP characters. Imagine someone thinking you're just an ordinary guy, only to get a first-hand taste of your power. Now, wouldn't that be a fun turnaround? Okay, I've heard about this anime, but I have not seen it yet. It may not be as big now, but my whole goal was quite the hit light novel back in its day. That's to say, a little over half a decade ago, back when I was at my peak in terms of consuming anime. It's no secret that the show has a place in my heart, and a lot of that has to do with how sleek and cool the world looks. I just dig the setting so much with how it intertwines magic and science in a more elaborate way than what we're used to getting in these urban fantasies. For oh, others, okay. However, this looks pretty interesting. I ain't gonna lie. The satisfaction of our protagonist constantly getting underestimated oh. and showing everyone what he's made of. After all, he may be classified as a lower tier student in terms of only one specific area but in terms of everything else there's little that Godsuya can't do with the protagonist being the equivalent of a military super weapon a genius engineer a lethal battler and a master analyst we could all agree that the Godsuya nickname is more than deserved dare touch me Yuki, and say goodbye as they say next Yo! king's avatar go, go. Oh, my man's going crazy. Back in the days when Dang. people talked about Mahorka, somewhere down the line there'd be a mention of SAO. The two have been heavily promoted together since they're under the same publishing label, both star an introverted OP guy. They have the same I don't know what the heck is happening right now. and they both are polarizing to say the least. Mahorka and SAO second seasons even aired at the same time period, which oh, brings wow. me to a title about video games. Enter King's Avatar, a story of the greatest glory players fall from grace and road towards triumph. Well, we've got a lot of shows about video games, not a lot really put as much focus on the actual esports and out of game aspects of it, something which I That's think gave facts. King's Avatar its major niche in the scene. Where else would you find an anime that gives you so much insight on the business or political side of being an esports player? It was an unexpected hit that took a while to pick up with the fans, but Yishu's journey, starting from having everything taken away from him and ending with him championing a new legacy with his new account had me constantly on the edge of my seat. If you're up for an esports story that puts in great focus on the drama outside the actual game, then King's Avatar may be the one for you. Okay. So in a sense, it's kind of like SAO, but like showing the esports in a more competitive side of things. Very interesting. Oh! King's Avatar isn't a pushover in terms of cool fights, but you would think that if you put it side by side with our next entry, Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho, my, my job, boy. Man, he just got him, bro. He was getting obliterated, bro. Popular creator one's work, which gets lauded for its breathtaking animation and fight direction. It this man mobs that something Mob else. Psycho became such a big hit. When I watched it, I was just taken aback. How could you not be with a show that's this exciting, especially in a genre that I'm very fond of? Well, Mob himself may not like how much I just talked up about his show. Socially awkward and incapable of reading the atmosphere, Mob, whose real name is Shigeo Kageyama, has a lack of friends, and that doesn't really bother him. It's better that way, especially given his amazing powers that. Are tied to his emotions bullies oh, yeah. really beware mob may not look it but push him and you'll live your life regretting it oh. bro the thing with mob is he's he's actually a really cool character i love the way mob is written in this and a lot of people actually don't know that mob psycho or the person that created mob psycho is also the person that created um one punch man and 
you can see the similarities in the characters as well like the drawing the art style all that like it's pretty simple it's pretty easy to recognize but i guess a lot of people just don't know that overall the animations are the main attraction of mob psycho but i also love the series so much for its intricate character writing the dynamics and the character development parts are so top-notch that i find it quite yes bro that they actually get overshadowed by the people who can't stop talking about the animation facts my man he, he don't you don't even know this number that he went it's more than 100 percent Oh, and if you're enjoying the show so far, don't Jeez, forget to leave man. a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. It Go ahead and do it. Algorithm so much, and it will motivate me to keep making more and more videos for everyone. Now, I don't want to hold you up. Hey, hey, do it for both of us, please. God of high school. Yes, sir. My man, Jen Mori? Ah. Talking about this show just takes me back. It took no less than an episode for God of High School to wow the world with its animation, fluid fights, and premise that quickly hooked people in. Fighting See, tournament I called all of these in the beginning, you know? So the this guy was, he was actually pretty interesting to me. I don't know if Barky is the most proper comparison to this. Woo! He just has that atmosphere to how over the top the fights become, with tournament participants coming in literally all shapes boo, 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 boo. It's a battle oh, royale for the ages, yes. and while I won't say this is my favorite webtoon adaptation among the ones 2020 gave us, it's one hell of an adrenaline booster God of High it really is though shortcomings in terms of pacing and decisions that the anime team took but it sure never gets dull when the fighting starts facts they should have they should have paced it better honestly coming up next is probably one of the most popular mecha animes of all time code geass code geass yes sir Code Geass? Yeah, I get that surprise reaction. For such a spectacular and charismatic character, you wouldn't really expect Lelouch to be one of these people. Most images you'd Lelouch, find Lelouch, I just gotta say it. I gotta say it. Lelouch, one of the best MCs. I, I gotta, I gotta say it, bro. Like, it, if you don't know why, watch it. You'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Watch of swag and he's known to be a master chess master amongst chess masters in the world of anime well he never started out my girl see you too yeah. his development a long road where he actually learns to drop the stoic facade and become more emotional heroic and extreme in his ways which is just one of the things to show what a ride code geass was, this anime hits bro it this anime thousands. hits Combining the cool appeal of mecha anime oh shit is we on youtube yes I mature hear. content like politics morals and psychology code geass managed to catapult itself to the upper echelons of critically acclaimed anime it was such a phenomenon that the franchise still gets new content to this day and when it does expect the internet well the older sector of it to blow up in hype code geass is really a show that you just have to see its recognition is more than well deserved and i wouldn't do it justice just by talking about it like this Goodbye. yes We've not seen the last of one's footprint in this what list is this? of Mob Psycho. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh okay, no, this is Mob Psycho still. It's 2015's phenomenon. Oh, One Punch Man. One Punch Man. Hey! I was just talking about One Punch Man. Boy! The meme face says it all. If you're someone in the One Punch Man universe, the last thing you'd expect out of the listless Baldy is to be able to utterly decimate you. Boom! Punch. Who knew that the strongest hero Jeez, amongst man. all those cool appearances was the simpleton? But that's exactly what makes One Punch Man so fun. It's an action show that's also a parody of the whole shonen and superhero genre. It's got a lot of big moments and scenes that makes your jaw drop. That's so cool, bro. battles that you'll just keep on talking about for days on end. Season Besides one of that, One Punch like Man Punch still can't get over it. It's balance. Yeah, it's a fast-paced action show that presents itself as something you shouldn't take too seriously but how can you do that when it suddenly rains you with feels like moomen riders whole shtick when that soundtrack comes in and all of a sudden you feel like you're watching a completely Boo! different show i think that's Jesus, what makes one punch man such a lovable show it pulls you in with the crazy stuff wrapped in a fake underdog story from some angles before hitting you hard with emotion and drama you can't help but just get caught in Kablamo! bro like Let's what stop with one chinese anime and go to the next one with full-time magister I've never heard of this anime actually. Pretty interesting. Okay, let's see. Time Magist is quite an interesting title. It's a 2016 show that? that has a lot of elements, including an art style, that feel like they're very inspired from Japanese media from a decade ago. You've got a world intertwined with magic, the magic schools, and the cool, edgy protagonist. Not quite as edgy as the ones in Revenge Fiction. Oh, she trying to, she trying to really get some. Badass feel. Unfortunately, more key info would need some reading to do because the actual show starts with little introduction about the oh. world. Not that it detracts from the experience. I mean, it's transforming. Focused on following the story of our hero, an aspiring magician. 
magician who looks to prove the world wrong. Despite everyone mocking him about poverty and his lack of magical ability, Mo oh, man, look like he got the, uh, he got the, um, the Black How Bulls gear on. Two attack against the world that dare to look down on him. Does that remind you of Mahawka? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? If you like one, you'll definitely like the other since they share so many elements. The cool thing about Full Time Magister is that you have a lot of seasons to go through, so if you're up to the task of following the rise of the nation's greatest magician and you've got the time, make sure to try out this show. Dang. That man said goodbye! We finished the Chinese anime train with Daily Life of a Mortal King. Oh, I've heard of this! Oh, wait, hold up. That animation kind of looks nice. Woo! Defeating a demon lord at a young age grants you immense power. So great that Wang Ling, now reincarnated in the present, faces his greatest challenge. Senior high school. Talk about Arnos Voldigode vibes. Unlike Arnos, though, Wang Ling decides to tuck his powers away and live a life... <laughs> Teenager. Okay, that, 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 that do. okay. I might have to watch this. Minutes, none of that world ending magic. Instead, he just wants to be a plain old high schooler. Of course, that's going to be one insane challenge because you just can't. I need to watch this. This is beyond, and one wrong move, and it's the end of the world as we know it. Finally, he still ends up flexing on others subconsciously, and comedy ensues. The show may not be a Japanese anime, but takes a lot of elements from popular titles, including one that we are going to get to shortly. Combining comedy with flashes of action, daily life of a oh, this looks King interesting, a bro. Can like. You should try the first few episodes Holy. to see if it's taste, but I think that it's a nice, light show to enjoy. Last on the list is Woo! Psyche K. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Blessing, right? <laughs> Apparently not if you're Guso Psyche, who wants nothing more than to have an ordinary life free of the supernatural inconveniences. However, with powers as strong as his, that's a lot easier said than done. Especially if very I do know in Psyche K, um, to hound you thanks to the, the reason why Psyche he has that little gear on him short. is because it helps him control his powers. Because if he doesn't have that little gear on him, like the these little antennas, um, it, his power will start to go berserk, I believe. Uh, and it's actually a pretty nice anime to watch, so, you know. And fun to watch for the viewers, though. This series of shorts has been a fan favorite among anime fans. It also didn't take too long for me to be caught up in the wave, and it's a show that I'm glad I picked up. The episodes are very easy to watch and come up with all sorts of creative circumstances to be used for creativity. A short can okay. also feel Psyche's pain as the world just won't leave him alone. My oh, man's using telekinesis to eat. Or not, yeah. I can easily recommend this one for you. With five minutes per episode, wow. the 200 episode count is not as daunting as it may seem. It's 200? Past the time with magical I don't remember craziness. it being 200 weirdos will keep you in stitches and if they don't do it to you in the scenarios the fourth wall break surely will yeah, there you have it. Those are my top picture <laughs> shows where the main protagonist is hidden OP. Which one amongst those is your favorite? Let me know down in hey the comments. Hey, bro, section. I gotta say, Mob Psycho and One Punch Man might be my favorite. 